All right, you guys, welcome back to the channel. Let's talk a bit about Bitcoin because what I'm starting to understand is how powerful these ETFs really are. And if you watch the BTC content here, I said that all of those, the whole basket of liquidity that left the crypto market to then go back into the ETFs, it was just something that was going to go full circle. The difference is, is what's actually coming back in now is more or less going to get locked in for a long time because a lot of this is coming from BlackRock. The whole situation with the ETFs, the need to back that whole system up, because when you look at an ETF, what it is, an investor buys shares of a fund which represents the ownership in the underlying Bitcoin that BlackRock holds. And if you think about it, right? they're more or less treating Bitcoin like gold, right? And if you have gold to back up these shares that people are buying, you have to keep that BTC there to ensure you've got the funds to back up the shares that you're selling to people. So if you think about it off the bat, you do a bit of a deeper thought on this, you really start to figure out that, hey, $150,000, I don't think is even remotely close to where we're going after the halving event. I really do think it's going to be quarter of a million per BTC minimum once we reach the peak out. I really do think this is going to be one hell of a bull run just because of the simple fact that institutional adoption is now here. The ability for someone who's talking about Bitcoin anywhere and everywhere in the world, when someone gives the whole, isn't it just all a scam? Doesn't it all just go up to go back down? You can actually sit there and go, well, if that's the case, then why are these people getting involved? Why are they making the effort? Because the only way to truly control Bitcoin is to control the supply. If you can control the supply, sell shares to everybody, you've won the game at this point. But on that journey to wherever this is going, there's going to be a lot of gains to be made. And the reason why I say the journey of where we're going is because if you look at the dot-com era, for example, if you think about all of the different search engines that you used to use, I mean, Ask Jeeves, Bing, all of the different search engines, whatever they would be, there's only really one now that the majority of the populace use, and that's Google, right? Everything's linked into Google. But if I was to say to you back in the dot-com area, when you were sat playing RuneScape at your computer, that Google's going to take over the world and they'll be one of the most powerful entities for data control in the world, you probably would have just laughed at me and said, it's just a search engine, bro. It's just a search engine. What's going to happen is eventually this is all going to come down bite to crunch and about 10 cryptos are probably going to remain in the end. So when we look at this article, it really does talk about this meeting and how this is a real game changer, according to uh, this guy Bern Bernstein, and is the anticipated surge in, surge in institutional investment. Major Wall Street players like BlackRock and Fidelity have already entered the arena, launching Bitcoin ETFs that have attracted billions in a matter of weeks. What's going to happen now is... Ethereum's going to want an ETF. If XRP can even get close to making an ETF, then hey, go for it, because this is all going to be pushing BTC up higher and higher and higher. And hey, we might not see this big dip before the halving event. We may just screech all the way through, a bull run all the way through to the halving event, a bull run after, and it continuing to run and run and run, just because of the amount of institutional wealth that can now get involved. This isn't a case of FOMO. This is literally a case of Gary Gensler has opened the doors to the whole world to get involved with Bitcoin. So realistically, we do have Gary Gensler to thank for Bitcoin's rally because I think what he thought was it was going to have the reverse effect. People would do the real negative thing of trying to somehow crash Bitcoin's price and get everybody to sell their coins and they'd be able to get more when this has realistically had the total opposite effect. And I think this is really good. I think it's positive. And guys, if you're on Twitter, at Gary and thank him for the Bitcoin rally. That's all I've got for you for now. Just a, a little bit BTC rant for you guys, what I really think is going on and what I think possibly could be happening. So just before I end this video, let me bring the Bitcoin day chart up because if we was to say to ourselves, for example, there's going to be a dump there's going to be a dump. Well, if we look at the chart, right, we're probably looking at the biggest cup 
and handle you've ever seen in your whole entire life. This thing's going to be in the Guinness World Records for the biggest cup and handle on the day chart ever. I have no doubt. So when this big dip does come, trade safe, guys. Prepare for this, okay? Don't get overconfident. Don't get yourselves into an environment where you just put yourself at 100% risk. You've got no dry powder and you're not playing things safe. Guys, if you're not getting involved with our trading <coughs> trading indicator, consider getting involved. It is absolutely outstanding. People are making amazing gains just by using this and removing the emotion from trading and taking those gains. So what they are at face value and then moving on to the next play. If you've got LUNC, you can delegate with us over on the Terra Classic Network. You can do this through Trust Wallet or Station. If you need help learning to stake, we've got guides, full guides in the playlists on the channel. Auto compounding available at hccfactory.com. You can consider joining our Patreon today, gain access to our Discord, enjoy our monthly prize pool giveaway, which completely outweighs a year's this subscription if you win it and two people will split that each month moving forward. We've got crypto calls, we've got alpha drops, we've got portfolio updates, we've got daily newsletters, trading tactics and much, much more. Other than that, folks, stay safe, stay humble, stay aware. And as always, I'll catch you in the next one. Ciao!